Dorothy, where are we? <laughs> Not Lake Powell. Yeah, this is the only thing with Lake Powell. <laughs> You're being silly like a spoon. Let me see, like that. You're silly like pepper. You're silly like coffee? Coffee? How do you even know what coffee is? Yeah. Good morning. Say good morning. Come on, say hi. Good morning from where are we, Dorothy? Mm -hmm. Do you love the Bahamas? Mm -hmm. Dorothy just told me that she said, Mom, I like it here. Finishing up our time here at the Grand Isle Resort in Exuma, Bahamas. We've loved it here. This is one of the tough things about traveling is... Are you gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> no, this has been something tough about loving all the places we go is 
we like get connected to a specific like house or country we or get in like people. we get into a routine everywhere mm -hmm. we go and then have to leave and start over yeah it's kind of sad yeah i like already miss this place and already like care deeply and sincerely about this place and want to come back here's real quick my personal favorite things about exuma so I love sandbars, I love playing in the water, I love clear loves water. Loves it. <laughs> and so People understand how much he loves this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I, I thought that I would love this place, but my feelings were confirmed when we stopped at this spot called Windex. It's not actually called Windex, just the local dude who took us there called it Windex because of how crystal clear the water was. And he said, we pulled up to this spot, I looked down and he said, he's like, you wanna see the clearest water you've ever seen? Go ahead and just jump in. And it was what, about 20 to 30 feet deep, just crystal clear water. Sandy and the bottom. whole bottom was just the cleanest white sand you've ever seen. Just kind of like hills and grooves, beautiful patterns. As soon as I jumped in, I just knew. It scares heaven. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but all of our destinations are based around water. But that's <laughs> mostly for this guy because he <laughs> insists on being in the water. And he's kind of always been on this quest to find the greatest water. And Tahiti's been up on at the top of the list, and this is right there with it. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. So we discovered Windex while we were out on this really cool tour with this uh, friendly local guy named Ray. The company is called Exuma Water Sports. And this tour was awesome. So there was the swimming pigs, there was Windex, the clearest water I've ever seen. And then there were these lizard iguanas, mm -hmm. dinosaurs basically, um, that we fed crops to. right on this beautiful golf course that wraps around the Emerald Bay and you can kayak, stand up paddleboard, the beach is beautiful, white sand, gorgeous. The uh, pool's amazing. I do. Hey Mina. Hey. Yeah. And Dorothy learned how to swim. Okay, so if you if you know Dorothy, she has been terrified of going underwater ever since her evil parents put her in swim lessons when she was six months old and they basically it backfired. waterboarded her. It was terrible and she developed a fear for water, did not like to go under and it's been a slow process getting her back used to it. And then we were in the gift shop at the Grand Isle Resort and she saw this beautiful treasure chest with money and jewels and they were dive toys. She really wanted to purchase it, but she can't go underwater, she can't dive. So we made a deal that if she can learn how to dive, she can get the treasure chest. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? And then you can do it, okay? Whoa! Did you make all that water, cold water? Okay, ready? Uh, we'll dive for this first, okay? See how it goes all the way to the bottom, okay? It's on the bottom. Do I pick it up with my toes? No. Nope. 
I'm gonna hold my breath like this. I'm gonna close my mouth and then I'm gonna open my eyes so I can see underwater. Look. You can open your eyes underwater. Okay. Sometimes it hurts a little bit, but not bad. Okay? And then I go down and I get it with my hand. Okay, oh. ready? <gasps> like that. Okay? <laughs> Did you look underwater too? Yeah. High five! Okay, go under the water all the way and get this, okay? Okay, go. Oh. too heavy down there. Okay, wait. Too deep out yeah. there. No, you just gotta put your, you just gotta go down deeper, okay? You gotta put your, cause watch. You're going like this, but the little girls in the video, they went like this. Watch. They went all the way down, okay? So you guys gotta go all the way down. Okay, go far. Oh, good job. That was a nice try. Okay, you gotta reach for it. Did you open your eyes? And could you see it underwater? Yeah. Okay, this time reach for it, okay? Do it on this one. One more try on this one and then we'll go on that one, okay? Okay, okay, go. Oh, you got it. Okay, go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Take a big breath like this. Okay. Oh. You didn't. You didn't grab it. Okay. This time you gotta. You gotta reach out and grab it. Okay. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Okay. Get ready to grab it. Okay. 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 Take a big breath. Oh. oh. Good job. Good job. I. I wanna do it. I wanna do it on this. No, no. You have to dive deep. You have to get it on this step. Okay. <laughs> you got it! Good job, Dorothy! Whoa, it's too heavy! Okay, last one. Last one and you get the treasure chest. Now you have to dive for the camera. That one's too small like this. Good job! Now on the medium, okay? Okay. You got it! Okay, if you get it on this one, you get the treasure chest. You're so close. Okay? You ready? Okay. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. Go get your toy, okay? I learned how to go buy my treasure chest. <laughs> that did not work. Let's go. Okay, let's go buy it. <laughs> go find it. There's a little I'm toy. I'm sure you want to look for something. <gasps> she found it? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Which one? The treasure <laughs> chest. You want the treasure chest? I learned how to dive. And tell them what toy you got. I got the treasure chest. A treasure chest? Mm -hmm. It has all the accessories. It has all the accessories? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. And she earned it. Huh, did you die? I'm so proud of you. She's a pro. She's awesome. We're really proud of you. We're really stoked on that. Uh, the pool is great. The gym is great. It's open 24 hours. Thank you. And then also, this, the, the Grand Isle Resort is kind of this like community and you get this golf cart to go around.
we had a really fun day when we rented a car, drove on the left side of the road, and went to the marina where we took a ferry to this really cool island with a restaurant called Chat and Chill. Uh, it's kind of like a famous hot spot if you go to Exuma to go to this cool Chat and Chill beautiful beach. It was really cool because as soon as we got there, this little family of six with four really young kids pull up and Dorothy was so stoked as soon as a little girl her age showed up and wanted to play with her. Running in already. Oh, oh, so Jessica's driving, I'm in the passenger seat. Manila and Dorothy are in the back, and all of a sudden Jessica says, Oh no, there's a mosquito on Manila. Get it. <laughs> so I went into loving father, protective father mode, and I just wound up, I waited for the mosquito to land on Manila, and I smacked it, but it moved faster than my hand, and I just smacked Manila in the face. And then it landed on his chest, so I was like, I'm sorry Manila, but here you go. Smacked it again, missed it again. Sorry, bud. And what went from just this happy family outing with everybody laughing and smiling just turned to mayhem. My bad. With two screaming kids in the back of the car and Garrett and I kind of just laughing. But feeling really bad at the same no, time. I hit Manila and he looked at me and then I hit him the second time and that's when he started crying and he hit me back like, Get out of here, Dad. And then Dorothy's just crying, like, why is dad hitting me? <laughs> Thank you, Grand Isle Resort. Bye. Bye.